All right, Shalom. First off, and for most, and for most as always, I want to say, call on La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say, Shalom to Ankim out there that's pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. So this lesson is going to be titled, Y'all Didn't Learn from the First Time. All right. And that question is alluding to, you know, uh, if you will, the the uh, the first death going back to the uh, ancient world, you know, dealing with the, day, the, the uh, days of Noah, because back in that time, just like you have in today's time, you know, all kinds of wickedness. Everything was, you know, was, you know, he had things out of order. You know, people were, you know, just uh, living in the flesh and things of that nature. You see, just like back in that time, you know, those things were happening. And fast forward to today, the same wickedness, all right, is going on all right, at, at this present moment in time. OK, because those uh, those same spirits are back here today. You see, those same spirits that were, you know, giving in marriage, you know, partying, you know, committing all kinds of wickedness. They're they're here today. All right. In Babylon. OK, and being that the uh, first time they, you know, they didn't, you know, they they was being wicked. You know, the Lord said, OK, yeah, y'all going to be wicked. Then I'm going to flood y'all, you know, with uh with the water. All right. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to destroy y'all with the water and flood the earth. And, all right. And drown y'all. OK. And fast forward to today. Guess what? They still were doing the same stuff. OK. They was no 2.0. All right. But but but. But this time around, instead of the Lord flooding the earth with, or should I say Babylon with uh, with the water, he's going to flood it with fire. You see, because going to the real quickly, if we go into the book of Genesis, chapter nine. All right. Chapter nine, starting at verse eight to verse 17. OK. The Lord made a, a covenant. All right. Uh, with him and Noah. OK, between him and Noah. All right. You know, to uh, to never flood the earth again. OK. And, and uh, the Lord gave, you know, uh, told Noah that the token will be a, a bow in the um, in the sky, meaning what a rainbow. OK. And actually, I'm going to read the account in the GNT, which stands for the good news translation. OK. So this is the book of uh, Genesis chapter nine. From verse eight to verse seventeen, and it says, um, "The Most High said to Noah and his sons, I am now making my covenant with you and with your descendants, and with all living beings, all birds and all animals, everything that came out of the boat with you. With these words, I ma I make my covenant with you. I promise that never again. Okay, I promise that never again." Will all things, excuse me, will all living beings be destroyed by a flood? Never again will a flood destroy the earth. As a sign of this, as a sign of this everlasting covenant, which I am making with you and all living beings. I am, I am putting my bow in the clouds. It will be the sign of my covenant with the world. See, whenever I cover the sky with clouds and the rainbow, of, excuse me, verse 14. Whenever I cover the sky with clouds and the rainbow appears, I will remember my promise to you and to all the animals that I that that a flow will never again destroy all living beings. When the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between me and all living beings on the earth. That is the sign of the promise which I am making to all living beings. Right. So the Lord. OK, made a covenant. OK, so, you know, with, you know, between, you know, Noah and all, you know, all flesh, you know, to uh, to to never flood the earth with the water. OK, now if you go to the KJV and Genesis nine and verse, um, let's see, verse. Uh, verse 15. All right. It says, and I will, and I will re remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. Okay, because in, in the GNT, okay, uh, uh, it says flood, 
but it doesn't, you know, it, it, it doesn't say the waters, you see? So right here in the KJV of Genesis 9 verse 15, it mentions water, you see? So the Lord is not going to flood the earth again with the water, okay? And the token for that, or, or, right, or a sign for that is the rainbow. You see the clouds, you see the sky, man, all right? But fast forward to today's time, all right, you have all kinds of wickedness, you know, especially with the with the you know the, the alphabet community, all right, and they have uh took something that is you know holy, something that is you know uh, uh precious, you know, which is you know the rainbow, of course, and turned it into something abominable, you see, and that's why this place is upside down, all right. It says that the um it says that uh let me get it real quick. Psalms 82 and verse 5, it says they, they know not, neither would they understand. They walk on in darkness, okay? These people are in gross darkness, you see? It says all the foundations of the earth are out of course, you see? Meaning what? Meaning that, you know, the, the, the ordinances are, you know, they're, they're effed up, man. You see, you know, things are not right here, all right? And... You know, and, and going back to the topic, you know, of being about the rainbow. Okay, one thing that's that's not right, you know, is these people, these wicked ass people, man. You know, excuse me, real quick. Let me do that real quick. Just lock it. All right, but you know, back to the point. You know, these wicked ass people out here. You know, the the, the alphabet people. You know, they have turned something precious. The sight of the Lord, you know, you know, uh, the rainbow, and it's something, you know, just, you know, wicked, man. You see, so, so now since you know these people out here, you know, these wicked people, they want to use that precious token, you know, as something, you know, uh, uh, wicked in their eyes, and and you know, and uh, flip it. You see, since they want to do that, now the Lord is gonna destroy this place with fire. You see, since y'all want to turn the Lord's, you know, a uh, uh, sign in the sky, which is the rainbow, into something filthy in this side, well, guess what? The Yahweh Bashmal Shai is going to flood the earth again, not with water, but by fire. You see, because the rainbow is a sign in the sky, so that so, so that way, you know, uh, the, the, the you know the the, uh, the people know that the earth won't get be flooded again by water. Okay. But being that those same spirits are back here today, okay, guess what? They're going to get flooded again, but guess what? It's not going to be by water, but it's going to be by nuclear destruction, okay? Nuclear fire, all right? And real quickly, let's get um, uh, Luke uh, 17 and verse 26 to verse 30, okay? And it says... And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, right? Babylon, man, this place, listen, this, these people here are obese. You know, they eat all kinds of BS, garbage, and don't think, and, and they don't think twice about it. Fast food, restaurants, so on and so forth. You, you know, you, you, you know, uh, you know, you see. You guys know the deal, man. We, we know what these Babylonians are here. All right. It says they did eat. They drank. All right. They married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. So while they were, you know, in the war, uh, excuse me, while they were um, within the world, you see, you know, given the marriage, being oblivious. All right. They got uh, blindsided by the flood. All right. But they didn't. But uh, until that day came that no one into the ark, you know, hey, you know, they were still, you know, partying, bullshitting and just doing all kinds of folly, man. And being being all kinds of wicked, you see. And it says and the flood came and destroyed them all. All right. So they got caught off guard with that, you know, and, and Noah was I believe he was prophesying for. I believe over a, a, a hundred years, man. So, hey, man. So, 
you know, they were, you know, hey, just, just like today, you know, just, just like the scriptures say, there's nothing new under the sun. So, hey, imagine them scoffing at, you know, at no one saying that he's crazy and saying that, you know, there's not going to be a flood just like they just like they, they do today towards you know, the, you know, the province of the Lord. You see, saying that what we say is, you know, is wrong, it's not true, it's not going to happen. You see, that's why he says, you know, there shall be scoffers in the last days. You see, but guess what? They, you know, they they, uh, they found out that Noah, you know, he, he, uh, he was a prophet because as soon as they felt that first raindrop, as soon as they felt that, you know, that first, you know, drop of rain, guess what? They knew that Noah was 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 definitely a man of the Lord. You see, uh, verse twenty eight, and it says, um, and 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 and, and, uh, and they got uh, confounded heavily. Okay, verse twenty eight, and it says, likewise also, as it, uh, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold. They planted, they built it, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man, Shai, is revealed. You see, so not only are we living in the days of Noah, but also we're, we're also living in the days of Lot. Okay, because this place is Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0. All right. Those same spirits that were back there during the days of Lot are back here today doing the same stuff, man, doing all kinds of wickedness. All right. This place, Babylon, is is is, is reserving the fire, man. It's reserving the judgment. You see, that's why he says that. What's that? Um, Let's get it real quick. This is the uh, second Peter two. And uh, verse. I'll start at verse five, and it says, Second uh, Peter 2 and 5, it says, and spare not the old world, right? Okay, the Most High didn't, you know, spare the old world because he flooded with water, okay, you know, during the days of Noah. But save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, you see, a prophet, all right, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Okay, and that's what you know the prophets do today. The men of Yahweh Shmuel Shadi, the apostles, the elders, the bishops, and then down to the rest of the uh the uh the uh, Akim. You see, we are prophesying, you know, because you know, um uh uh the the uh the spirit of prophecy is, is, is the testimony of Yahweh Shai. You see, so we are here prophesying, man, the through the sparing power of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. By Shurin Kakwadash, all right, about the uh impending uh doom that is coming, you know, upon Babylon. Okay. It says a preacher of righteousness, and are we preachers of righteousness? You see, bring in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And this is a very, very ungodly world. You see, this place is so ungodly. People's minds here are not right, man. Their whole mind uh, mindset is off. Okay, and, that, and that's because Esau Edom is ruling because the, the world is in the palm of the wicked right now. You see, verse six, and it says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. So you see that. So, so you see how after that verse, it transitions to, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, so this place, Babylon, man, is about to get hit with a, a, a flood of fire. You see, <laughs> because you had, uh, you know, the, the days of Noah, it was a flood, but but it was water. And the days of Lot, it was just straight fire and brimstone. So it's like, you know, so it's like the Lord is like <laughs> combining both of these judgments and and put them together. And, and now he's going to pour it upon Babylon. That's how. Listen, that's the Lord's indignation, man. All right. Fire and brimstone, man. Soon, okay, upon the wicked, upon Babylon, okay, the uh, the the flood of fire and brimstone, the second death. All right, and it says, Second Peter two and six, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. All right, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Right, so that place was made an example. All right. 
unto those that should live after, uh, excuse me, uh, what does it say? It says, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. And guess what? Back, uh, uh, you know, uh, going back to the, uh, excuse me, going back to the title of this lesson, which is, y'all didn't learn, you know, from the, uh, you know, the, uh, the first time. And clearly, and clearly, guess what? They didn't because they're in the same lot. Okay, doing the same thing today. All right. You would think people would um, take, you know, uh, uh, take, uh, you know, account of, you know, what happened to Simon Gomorrah. But guess what? They're not because those those same people that wasn't Simon Gomorrah, that was wicked, are the same spirits back here today. All right. Back in here in Babylon, back in here in the in, in, back in here in, in, in uh, Simon and Gomorrah 2.0 all over again. OK. So they didn't take in consideration of of, of how bad or uh, should I say uh, um, how harsh that judgment was. OK. But soon they will. They will. All right. Now we got that uh, right now. Actually, I'll keep going. Okay, uh, Second Peter two and seven, it says, "And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked." All right, meaning that he would just he would, he was pissed off at how life was at that time. You see, just like how we are now. All right, the prophets man are pissed off, man. Okay, the hopeful elect right now are not comfortable in this captivity. I put it like that. This place is not comfortable for us, man. It's not our rest. Okay. This place has to be destroyed, man. And it will be. Okay. Because this place will just keep getting more filthy. It will just keep getting more polluted. And that's why we are assigned and crying to be delivered. Okay. So that way, you know, we're not caught up, caught up in the destruction, man. You see, we want to be delivered while people want to stay here, you know, and just keep living in Babylon. But that's why they're going to be destroyed with Babylon. You see, verse eight, and it says for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. All right. So, hey, man, if you don't if you hate this place. You know, if you don't if you don't like how things are, if you despise Babylon and being in captivity and things of that nature, well, guess what? You're in the right spirit. Now, of course, you know, we don't we, we don't act out and act like crazy, you know, uh, 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 mofos. You see, we don't uh, 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 get carnal, but we always remain spiritual. You see, because, you know, I, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we don't you know we can't take vengeance upon our own hands. Excuse me. Upon ourselves. All right, because how about small size going to do that? You know, the, the most high is going to do that. All we got to do is just push the word, you know, ha, you know, uh, uh, have faith in the Lord, you know, do our part and just have patience, you know. And hey, the word patience, it means to suffer, you know, and us being captivity. Hey, guess what? We're suffering right now. OK, we're suffering, seeing wickedness, you know, at all time high. All right. We're suffering right now because we know that things here are not right. But that's why Yahweh Bashmah Shai is going to make things right very, very soon by destroying this place with that the, that uh, that flood, that fiery flood. All right. Okay, I got that. Now let's head to the book of Jude. Jude 1 and verse uh, 7, and it says, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Right? So that's an example. Okay? The most high rained fire. It said it rained. Okay? It rained fire and brimstone. Okay? That's clearly the works from the Most High, from Yahweh Bashma Shai. All right, and that was and that was the Lord, you know, put that forth for an example. Okay, for an example, if you live your life, you know, uh, being wicked, 
if you live your life, you know, being, you know, being filthy and just a complete demon, you see, and not believing in, you know, the most high. All right. And guess what? All those things I just said is at an all time high right now within Babylon. OK, these Babylonians don't believe in the most high. They believe in Satan now. You see, this place is ran by Satan, man. Satan is ruling this place right now. Everything here is just out of order, man. It's upside down. It, it truly is. This is truly a a dark dystopia that we're living in. All right. And nobody's crying out but the elect. OK. But the prophets and servants of Yahweh by Shema Shai. OK. So that's why this place is, is going is going to go out. OK. Just like how the days of Noah went out you know, um, with the flood of water. OK. And just like how Sodom and Gomorrah went out with that fire. But guess what? It's going to be combined this time. It's, it, it, guess what? It's, it's going to be a flood, but that flood is going to be fire, man. Because because keep in mind, the Lord, you know, uh, made a covenant with Noah. OK. And that and, 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 and the, uh, excuse me, and the sign of that covenant was the rainbow. So that way the Lord will show him that, hey, I'm, I'm not going to flood the earth no more with the water. You see, but this time around. It's going to be fire. OK. And and in the scriptures, that's called the second death. All right. This is the book of um, Revelation 20. Uh, I'll, actually, let me get this one. Revelation 21 and verse eight. And it says, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and the whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part, okay, their lot, their part, and the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You see, and all those things right there, you know, all those titles, the unbelieving, the murderers, the sorcerers, abominable, okay, the whoremongers, liars, sorcerers, idolaters, the fearful, all that. All those, all those, uh, uh, um, all those uh, words, okay, you people fit that description here within Babylon. You wicked ass people out here. The majority of, of, of these citizens within Babylon fit that description. Okay, the murderers, okay, they, you know, they indulge in witchcraft and sorcery and all kinds of black magic and just evil, fucking, evil wickedness, man. And people expect and people expect this place to keep going on. Are you serious? Mm -mm -mm. This place is not going to keep prolonging. You see that second death is coming soon. And I'll end off on here. All right. Isaiah 13. I'm going to get to the point and verse. 22. Really, you, you can start up. Actually, let me, let me start up. So like, yeah, let me start up. All right. Isaiah 13 and verse 19 to verse 22. And it says, and Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when the most high overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, ask yourself, hmm. Now, this is not talking about ancient Babylon because ancient Babylon didn't get it didn't get destroyed with uh, with a fire and brimstone like Sodom and Gomorrah did. You see, that's talking about today's Babylon, mystery Babylon. OK. And if you and, 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 and if you don't know what mystery Babylon is, it is the United States of America. You see. And it says, verse 20, it shall never be it, it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there, but wild beasts. Right, man. So that's one thing, too. After this place finally goes, guess what? Nobody's going to live here anymore. It's going to be no establishments. No, no, no more corner stores from Ishmael. Nothing. None of that. OK, this place is not going to be, you know, dwelt here. You know, no one's going to uh, dwell here. OK, this place will be uh, 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 done, annihilated. OK, it says in uh, Malachi, it says that, you know, uh, Babylon it says that uh, this place is going to be stubble. OK. 
this place is going to get burned up truly and not only by the nukes but guess what by those chariots too don't forget those chariots man you see don't forget those chariots man the lord is going to do some damage with those chariots as well okay which are so-called ufos but according to the holy bible okay they're called chariots chariots of uh of israel all right isaiah 13 and verse 21 and it says but while beasts shall make their fold excuse me but while beasts of the desert shall lie there and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures and owls shall dwell there and satyrs shall dance there and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons of their pleasant palaces right so this place is not going to be inhabited by no human being, but only by creatures. You see, only by creatures. Just hey, if you if, if you want to get a visualization on how America is going to be after it, it, it destroyed, watch the Lion King. OK, or you can go on YouTube and type in Lion King, the elephant graveyard. You see, that's how this place is going to look. OK. You're going to have, you know, you know, creatures, you know, you know, in um you know, a uh, 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 dwelling within, you know, the, the aftermath of Babylon being destroyed, you see. But as far as but as far as buildings, you know, civilization and with people and companies and corporations and things like that mm -mm, is going to be a no go. You see, this place is going to is not going to be dwelt ever again from generation to generation. OK. So back in Isaiah 13 and uh, 22, and they finish it off and it says, and her time is near to come. OK, right. You know, uh, uh, this whore, Babylon. All right. Her time is her time is about to be uh, uh, about to come to an end. All right. A fiery end at that, a very fiery end. And it says and her time and her time is near to come and her days shall not be prolonged. OK, meaning what? Meaning that the Lord is not going to uh, allow this place, you know, to keep going on forever. OK, the Lord knows when this place is about to go down. OK, the Lord has indignation towards Babylon and best believe that uh, 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 Babylon and also the inhabitants of Babylon is, is going to feel that indignation from the Habashimah Shai. OK, so with that being said, I just want to say call Lang La. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakodash. Once again, I want to say double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well, and Lord's will you edified. With that being said, Shalom.